The road of evolving my Itadori has been quite a painful one, but I think I'm finally ready to go ahead and juice him up until the next level. So the first thing I want to do today, guys, is evolve my Itadori. I have been grinding the event, got myself, of course, all the requirements, all the gold, etc. that I needed to, and it's finally ready. So to evolve Itadori, you need to, of course, get yourself some of the items, which is not really the hardest part. You think like 20 curse fingers is kind of annoying, and then you notice that you actually have to get 6,666 takedowns with him, and as well, you need to have 10 kings of curse kills, which of course is the brand new boss event, which is kind of hard. So today, guys, I'm going to show you how I did it, and as well, we're finally defeat this king of curses, because getting the kills is actually not that difficult, but defeating the whole boss fight is a different question. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to grab ourselves Itadori, boom, select him, and if Move him into Sukuno. Let's go ahead and do this. A bomb. There we go. Sukuno secret. And he now has S, Z plus S. Woo! Very, very, very nice. Of course, the good thing is I don't have a good trade for him yet, but inside of the boss event, trades do not count anyway. We still will use our 31 roll, so let's just see if we're gonna get anything interesting okay there we go we got that eye of course it's not monarch but i'll just take it for now i'm just gonna dump the rest into jason because he has none yet as well so let's see anything interesting no okay the last few ones that's just quickly Ooh, i'll just keep ah, there we go swift three that's not too bad so there we go now we have sukuno in our party looking absolutely awesome the next thing that I want to do, I want to quickly make my Vegeta into a three star. Should have done this a long time ago, but I totally forgot about it. So there we go. Now we have Vegeta three star getting himself another 8% or 9% extra damage, which is very good. Okay, I think I have everything ready. So I have my team ready up as well, and I'm going to explain them to you right now. So we have Sprint Wagon, which is going to be giving you some money. We have Takaroda, which is going to be giving you money. We have our main DPS, Vegeta Super, and as well, Chaso Blood Curse. So these are both two evolved mythic units. You need them evolved, otherwise they're not going to be good enough. And because we don't have any Z or Z plus rolls on their damage, sadly, I'm bringing a Rin. I don't even know if this is enough, but Rin doesn't do any actual damage. So this is a limit just like a buff, so they would be stronger as what they technically should be. Then besides that, I'm bringing Todu, a new mythic unit. We don't have to evolve him or anything like that. We don't have to level him up. Doesn't really matter at all. We only care about his passive. So his passive is Boogie, which technically just allows him to swap with any unit on the field. So my Vegeta's and my Chasers are placed at a specific location at the start of the game to make sure that I live. But they're not in an optimal position for the end game, especially the final Sukuna you have to go ahead and defeat. So we're going to use Todu to reposition those units to where they should be, which is very awesome because you you cannot sell any units in this game mode, so Todu is the only option to move a unit to where you want them to be, which is going to be very useful for the final wave. So that's what I'm going to use. Let's get started. We're going to go press yes, and we're going to focus the first four waves on getting as much money as possible. So we're going to just go put down Tekarotas, Sprint Wagons, and just up them as much as possible. And then wave five arrives, we're going to place down some damage units. Okay, wave five is arriving, so it's time to put down our Chasos and our Vegeta. So we're going to put them a little bit more towards the bottom because they need to be able to hit absolutely everything. We're going to put down three Vegetas and two chasos is gonna be enough for now you can put your third one down as well if you want to your fourth one sorry so i am just gonna i'm just gonna do that we're gonna place him towards the top so it's gonna be hitting all the stuff around us and after that we're gonna now focus on getting as much of my money upgrades again so we're gonna do that until they are literally maxed out right now Okay, so all my units right now are maxed, so up next is going to be super simple. We are going to go ahead and max a Chaso, but we are going to put a Rin real quick right here and next to the next Chaso as well, because he just needs to go ahead and farm the, her passive up to get 3% damage per wave for all units in range, max out at 18%. So we're just going to go ahead and put there down as soon as possible. Like, we have a lot of waves coming in, so we should be good. And we're now going to just use all the money we get on this Chaso and max him out until he's literally done like i said you don't need rin if you have some z or z plus stats it's just because my units are a little bit lacking in damage all right so he's maxed out we now have bloodstorm so he's gonna hit absolutely everything there and now we're gonna go over to our other units right here and we're gonna go ahead and level them up until they get their first ability so that means we're gonna get three levels on every chaso 
And we are going to get ourselves, I think, like two upgrades on every Vegeta. Yes, you can see right there. So we're going to do this for every single unit right here. And we should be good. So that's now done. We are now going to focus on another chase. So next to the other one, we're going to go ahead and again, max this one out to the top. So we're going to go ahead and get this all the way until the max level. I right, is now maxed out and now we're gonna again focus on the other chases we have over here so of course right now you can see the strongest sorcerer is taking a lot of damage from all my units that are standing over here so it should be very easy of course like i said if you're looking at a little bit of damage you probably have to look at your stats it should be quite high for this game mode but there we go the first one is going down so you can see we've defeated the first one this is of course not the final battle we have to defeat him three times in total but this defeat does count for your quest to evolve your sukuna so of course if that's the goal right now you're good you can restart and you can just do this again because you probably are not strong enough for the second one um but we're gonna continue ourselves because i want to make it of course all the way to the end okay so our two chases right now are maxed out so now we're gonna go max out our vegetas but they're not gonna go to max max level they're gonna go until their upgrade eight which is this one final flash so every vegeta is gonna go to upgrade eight so not above it so you can see right now we can go to upgrade nine we don't want this we're just gonna stick at eight for now okay the second boss is down and i'm gonna show you right now the power of todu so you can see I'm placing him down. I'm going to be able to use the boogie ability to swap their positions. Because Chasers, of course, right now, their range is so big that he doesn't need to be at the bottom anymore. You can see he's going to be able to cover all the map and all the stuff. Save for Vegeta, you can see how big the range is. He can be over there. So we're going to just place down the Todu. And we're going to go ahead and click the boogie ability and just swap their positions. Sell the Todu right away after that. And you can keep on doing this. So right now, again, you can put the one down, swap them up, and they're good to go. So this is very, 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 very useful, of course, to reposition your units, which I'm going to do right now a little bit. We have enough money, so we're just going to go ahead and upgrade our Vegeta's a little bit. I want to have enough money, of course, to make sure I can just place and replace our todus as much as possible you can see i have forty thousand left so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade a one more vegeta right there boom and i think i'll leave this for now so i need to start preparing because this boss already is going to move out of the range of these two chasos soon so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start moving them a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and put one down here and we're gonna start swapping the positions and you can see I'm just repositioning my units right now to make sure that they're always in the range of the boss. Uh, we're like 100k off. No, he's just sprinting away. Me, please. Oh my god. He's just sprinting away right now. We're like 60,000 off. No, I was 15,000 off, man. Okay. Oh, we just got it. Okay. <laughs> holy you can see we did it and it was very hard but like i said we are doing this with s units if you had z or z plus this would have been so much easier to give you a little bit of perspective how much it actually differs a z plus gives plus 22.8 and if i go to my a it's 13.5 so i'm losing like 10 percent damage which is crazy on every single one of them so yeah, it differs a lot. Yeah, thank you guys. There we go. We have upgraded our Sukuna. We've showed you guys how to be able to even do the boss event with A level damage with two damage characters. Of course, you can go ahead and put some other damage characters in there if you want to. Uh, but I want to, of course, have as minimal requirement as possible. Getting a Toto is pretty easy. Uh, getting these two units is not that bad. And of course, you just have to roll them until you get like ZZ+. Plus. But if you don't have that and you don't want to wait and you do have a Haruka Rin or something like that, you can just go ahead and use her and get a little bit of extra damage boost that you just need to defeat the boss at the end. So if you have enjoyed this video, I would highly appreciate a like down below. Get subscribed if you want to see us later today or tomorrow for another video. So guys, take care, live by. Thanks so much for watching and of course as well, take care guys.